Hi there everyone, I hope you had a great weekend. Well, we do have some active weather on the way to Newfoundland and Labrador. That is where we will start our weather story. Uh, for uh, the autumn portion of the province, there's blizzard warnings in effect, there's a wreck house wind warning in effect, uh, a snowfall warning in effect, and uh, winter storm warnings in effect as well. Now the areas under the snowfall warning, that is the, that's from the system we saw today. Those will come to an end uh, likely this evening. Then back across the west coast, we do have some warnings out for our next weather system that is going to move through. Uh, for areas under the uh, winter storm warning, we can see 10 to 20 centimeters of snow. It all gets started Monday night into Tuesday, and we could end up seeing winds gusting to 120 along exposed areas of the coast, probably gusting to as high as 140 in the wreck house area. And uh, for areas under the blizzard warning, 20 to 30 centimeters of snow is possible. Now there's also a special weather statement in effect as well uh, for central eastern Newfoundland and also for uh, the southeastern coast of Labrador for that same system, and it will likely move through, as I said, Tuesday night, uh, sorry, uh, Monday night, into your Tuesday. Your short-term forecast. Now overnight tonight we're going to see snow continuing in St. John's with about a further two centimeters expected. The winds will be coming from the southeast. They'll switch to northeasterly overnight with gusts to about 60 expected. In central Newfoundland tonight we're looking at uh, flurries or some snow with about uh, two to four centimeters and a low of minus three. Quite cold in Cornerbrook tonight minus 11 and we'll pick up about another two centimeters of snow that will be uh, this evening and we will clear out briefly overnight. The forecast now for tomorrow for the island portion of the province we are looking at a mix of sun and cloud or mostly sunny skies uh, depending on where you are. It will be fairly overcast through central Newfoundland with morning flurries. Uh, morning flurries expected for uh, St. John's and Gavilon as well and in uh, Labrador tomorrow we're looking at sun and cloud for Happy Valley Goose Bay and for Nain and we are looking at some snow in Labrador City. Moving along now to your extended forecast. Tomorrow in St. John's, as I said, we'll see some morning, uh, morning flurries, but we will clear out as well. Uh, daytime high of zero, warming up to four as the next system moves through on Tuesday. Rain, snow, windy conditions expected. And then as we head through Wednesday and Thursday, we are looking at sun and cloud with a chance of flurries. Friday, looking at a rain, snow mix and a high of three. In Gander, we're looking at flurries for tomorrow in the, uh, in the morning, and uh, we're looking at fairly overcast conditions in the afternoon. Tuesday looking at snow, windy conditions, and a high of plus one, minus five on Friday with a chance of flurries, a chance of flurries for Thursday and for your Friday as well. And then finally, uh, Corner Brook, quite an unsettled week is expected. Tomorrow, however, will be nice. Looking at mostly sunny skies and a high of zero. Tuesday looking at flurries, Wednesday flurries, however, Tuesday night into Wednesday, we are looking at some snow. And uh, as we head through Thursday snow, uh, once again Friday, looking at flurries and minus four. That is a look at your forecast. Now you can check out our website, newfoundnews.ca, for more. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters.